During the hot summer months, many animals struggle to cope with the heat and lack of water. In a certain animal community, there's a leader who seems to want all the other creatures to perish from thirst. But things take a surprising turn when a timid lizard unexpectedly steps up and accidentally becomes a hero. Now, let's dive into this exciting story without any more delay. The movie kicks off with a lizard named Rango, who is actually a pet. He's stuck in a family car, living in an aquarium filled with fish. However, the car hits a bump and loses control, causing the aquarium to crash. When it breaks, Rango tumbles out onto the ground, and it seems like the car's owner doesn't even notice he's gone. As the car drives away, Rango is left alone, feeling angry and confused about what to do next. All around him is a dry, desert-like landscape, and the scorching sun makes Rango feel worse. After a while, he encounters another animal named Roadkill, who asks for Rango's help. Curious, Rango inquires about Roadkill's situation, and he learns that Roadkill was just trying to cross the road when he had an accident. Rango feels a pang of sympathy, realizing that this unfortunate event is connected to the chaos caused by the car. As they chat, Roadkill mentions that he is on a quest to find something called the Spirit of the West. Just then, a truck zooms by, and Rango finds himself flying through the air again, landing awkwardly near Roadkill. Although his eyes are wide open, the blazing sun makes him feel incredibly thirsty. Rango then asks Roadkill if he has any water to share. Roadkill suggests that they should head to a nearby village to find some water. He tells Rango that he's lucky because the villagers pray a lot, and they believe that water will come tomorrow. Rango says, I am very thirsty. Let's go there immediately. Roadkill isn't going with him because he has to search for the spirit of the West. Now, Rango alone starts going towards the village. At first, Rango is very happy that he is going to get water. He starts moving ahead. But due to walking a long distance in the desert, Rango's condition is getting worse. While walking, Rango reaches a place where Rango sees a tree and a frog. The frog asks him to hide. At first, Rango doesn't understand why he is saying this. After he realizes that an eagle is coming from the front to hunt them. Then Rango also going to hide himself. While hiding, Rango goes into a box. The eagle trying to catch Rango, then a box gets stuck in the eagle's head. Now, to escape, Rango goes into a glass bottle. Eagle tries to take him out with its sharp nails, but he can't. Then Rango starts teasing the eagle from there. But this eagle also very smart and takes Rango up into the air along with the bottle. Then the eagle's mouth is watered. He throws the bottle, but the bottle does not break. Then Rango and the frog run together. Then suddenly the bottle breaks and also the eagle reaches them. But finally, the eagle catches the frog and goes away. It seems that for now Rango's life is saved. Then Rango had just reached a far distance where he could find water. But he couldn't find anything. Rango was thirsty. He was impatiently searching for the water. Then he starts hallucination. He feels that there is water at that place. He goes to that place while crawling. But there is nothing. In the meantime, a female is coming there. The name of this lady is Beans. She points a gun at him. Then Rango says, what? Why are you staring at me? The female lizard says, no, nothing. She asks Rango, who are you? Rango tells Beans everything about himself and where he has come from and also says that he has to go to the nearby village for water. Then she makes him sit on the cart and they move to that village. Finally, they arrive there. Rango goes inside that village. The villagers are wearing old clothes. Rango feels that he is very different from these animals. And it looks like the condition of this village is not so good. While walking, Rango enters a club. Going there, he asks if they have water. They all start laughing. They say, water? Are you a small kid? Then the bartender there gives a cactus to Rango and says that this is all you will get in the name of water. Another animal offers it to Rango asking, are you missing your mother? Do you want to go home? Now all are asking him, who are you? Now Rango starts making fool them. Here Rango feels proud and says, don't you know about me? He talks about how he has just come back after killing an eagle. And also he can do everything. The innocent animals there were impressed by him and start asking different questions. Rango is answering them while enjoying. All the other there also start taking Rango seriously. Rango starts smoking. With this, the scene shifts to Beans. She has gone to the manager of the water bank to talk about water. 
The manager of the water bank, without taking responsibility for himself, said that you should go to the mayor. Now, a group of animals suddenly burst into the club, causing everyone to feel scared and anxious. The leader of this rowdy crew is Bad Bill, who is known for causing trouble in town. He approaches Rango and demands to know what special skills he has. Rango, trying to keep his cool, replies that it's a secret. In a surprising move, Rango takes Bad Bill's lit cigarette and puts it in his own mouth, then takes a quick drink and blows fire at Bad Bill's face, shocking everyone around them. Bad Bill is furious after being burned and challenges Rango to a one-on-one -on -one fight. It looks like Rango might have made a big mistake by provoking him. Just as they're about to start fighting, an eagle swoops down, causing Bad Bill and his gang to flee in panic. Rango, thinking they are scared of him, boasts about how they ran away before the fight even began. However, when he turns around, he realizes that the eagle is actually after him, ready to make him its next meal. In a panic, Rango takes off running, with the eagle hot on his tail. He manages to hide in a box, but the eagle follows him there, trying to catch him. Just when it seems like Rango is in big trouble, a pillar unexpectedly falls on the eagle, knocking it out. Rango didn't even push it, it just happened. The onlookers are amazed and start to cheer for Rango, impressed by his unexpected victory. They acknowledge that he is indeed quite strong, and Rango feels a sense of pride for having faced such a scary situation. Now, they inform Rango that he needs to meet the mayor, who will be pleased with what he has accomplished. When Rango finally meets the mayor, he receives a badge as a sign of recognition. The mayor tells Rango that the villagers are very grateful for his efforts and that he has earned their trust. He then emphasizes that Rango's new responsibility is to protect the village, which makes Rango feel really happy and proud. He is then given a sheriff's outfit, and he wears it with a sense of pride. Meanwhile, Beans is feeling suspicious about the mayor's involvement in the village's water crisis. She decides to confront Rango directly, wanting to share her concerns. When she arrives, she notices a fox arguing with Rango, clearly jealous of his new position. Rango seems unfazed by the commotion, but Beans is frustrated and tells him that he needs to pay attention to what's happening around him. She expresses her anger, insisting that she came to help the villagers, who are suffering from a lack of water while Rango is distracted. The day arrives when the villagers gather to pray for water, forming lines in hopes that their prayers will bring relief. However, only a single drop of water appears, and when Rango prays, mud comes out instead. This disappoints the villagers, and they feel hurt by the situation. Beans tries to get their attention, explaining that she had warned them about the mayor's action. Now, with no water in the water bank, the villagers turn to Rango, urging him to join them as they march to the water bank, ready to confront the issue head-on. Now here Rango became everyone's hero and reached the water bank. A little water is stored there. Seeing this, Rango becomes very happy because he is very thirsty. He drinks a lot of water, as much as the other villagers drink in two days. The villagers are shocked what is he doing. Rango tells them, don't worry, I'll store the water for you, and I will take care of whatever water is left here. After which the scene shifts to night, and we come know that Rango had accidentally helped the thieves, who had just come to steal water. The next day, the storage of the water is quite empty. The villagers begin to shout where the water has gone. Rango tells them, why are you getting upset, we'll find them. Now, he starts the investigation. Now, he remembered what he had done at night. Then he hides the truth and says, bring some water for me, I am thirsty. The villagers get angry at him. They point their guns at Rango and say, come to find water or else we'll kill you. Rango says, okay, I am coming with you. Now, they go in search of the water. Beans is also with them. They're on the way to search for the water. They find the dead body of the bank manager. Who was in charge of the water bank? Bean says that he has no fault in the theft of the water. It seems the thieves have killed him. They all begin to pray for him. Rango looks at the soil that was wet. Rango feels maybe there is some water. But the most important thing was finding the thieves. Now, they go to find them, and it becomes night on the way. They stay at a place and have a meal. He started telling them the stories of the spirit of the West. The villagers say, how do you know them? Rango tells them that once he found Radkill on the road. He told me all. The villagers ask him if he knows the rattlesnake. 
Now Rango always had the habit of boasting about himself, and due to this, he tells about the snake that he was my brother, in fact, my mother had adopted him. He tells that in childhood we used to play so much. Rango shows them a mark on his belly, says, look at this, he once bit me. Then another animal says, I also have a mark, it means he had bitten me as well. Everyone says, don't make us afraid, what if we sleep and he comes to bite us? They all hold each other's hands and pray. Along with this, they thank Rango, because he helped them. Rango likes this all, that they are praising him a lot. He promised that he will surely find the water with them. The next morning, when they again start searching, they see the water, which they are searching for. The three thieves were also there who stole the water. They came to attack them. Before they attack, some rats come and hold them. The whole game flips. Taking advantage of this, Rango goes where the water is. That was a cart in which the water storage bottle was. Rango moves ahead with his fellows with the cart. But the bats came behind them, and a bat took Rang from there. On the other side, Beans moved ahead with the cart with his fellows. When the cart is hit with something, the bottle falls. This was empty, and everyone was shocked to see it. Then Rango brings the thieves. Beans angrily look at these thieves. They say till we went to steal the water. Someone else had looted, and the bottle was empty. She brings them to the village so they can meet the mayor. Rango also returned. The mayor asked Rango, what did you do? You talked a lot about how you'll protect the water and bring it for us. What did you do? You're quite strong. You also know the rattlesnake. May I call him? You'll ask him to help us. Then Rango notices one thing. The mayor also has the same wet mud on his feet. Now Rango understands everything. Then he tells the mayor that you have a lot of water, but you do not want to give water to the people. Now the mayor gives two options to Rango. The first option is that either you become a part of the future or get lost somewhere. Rango does not accept any of these offers, and he says that I am now love this village. All these villagers have become my family. Then the mayor says that he has a big weapon. Because of this, he asks his workers to call the weapon. The scenes shift, and we see the villagers who had not got water till now. That is why they are very angry. Rango reached the middle and started explaining to them. Before Rango could tell them everything, the mayor's big weapon, the rattlesnake, came here. The snake came and revolved around him and says, Rango, how are you? Everyone thinks that he is a friend of the snake. Along with this, the snake insults Rango. You've told everyone that we're friends. You're strong and can do everything. And you tell always lies. Along with this, the snake tells everyone about Rango's reality, that he is not at all strong but a lizard. After all this, Rango became sad. He had won the hearts of the people, but he was thrown out after being insulted. He goes and starts leaving the village from there. After going further, he saw someone in front of him. He was a human. When he looked back, we found that he was the spirit of the West, whom the roadkill was finding. The spirit of the West asks him where is he going. Rango says that the villagers don't trust him. The spirit of the West says you've to make your trust. You go to the village and do something to rebuild their love for you. Meanwhile, Roadkill also comes and says, yes, the spirit of the West is right. Come, I'll show you a place. And he brings him to a heightened place from where the whole city is visible. The city was quite advanced. There are top buildings, facilities, and even water. Roadkill tells him the most important thing. The villagers thought you were bad and the mayor proved it. Today, I am telling you a secret. The mayor of the village is not a good person. He blamed you a lot. Although he is the one who stopped the water for the villagers, he shows him a pipeline, which closes the pipeline that goes to the village. This was done by no one else but the mayor. So he can control the villagers. Behind all this, he has a purpose, that the villagers get fed up with this and leave their village and land. And he could occupy their lands. Renko goes to the village thinking that he will save the villagers from the fraud and will tell them the truth. He was quite sure that he would reveal the whole truth. Here in the village, Beans goes to the mayor to talk about the situation. There we see the rattlesnake and the mayor blackmailing Beans to give her land to them. Meanwhile, Rango reaches there. He calls the snake, come out, you said I am not strong. Fight with me, I'll show you being strong. The snake comes out and stands on a spot. Roadkill opens the pipeline. The water flowed with pressure where the snake was. The snake falls far away. Everyone is shocked to see this. Then the mayor of the village was quite angry that Rango had told everyone his reality. 
Then the mayor catches Beans and blackmails Rango. To see this, Rango surrendered. Then the mayor catches Rango and Beans and imprisons them. He has locked them in the jar of the water. During this, the mayor wants to shoot the snake. The mayor wanted to rule alone. He didn't want to give any partnership to the snake. Then Rango has a bullet from which he breaks the water jar. And the water begins to flow everywhere. The water washed them away outside. After that, the snake got angry and caught the mayor. He says, good luck, to Rango. Then he took the mayor with him. After all this, the villagers again started to trust Rango. Beans again begins to call Rango good. It is possible that Rango could be the next mayor of the village. Everyone taught the old mayor a good lesson. There was water in the village and everyone was quite happy. The film ends with this. If you enjoyed the film, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you.